it's your girl Gladys and welcome to Is That Your Hair? I create hair, fashion, and lifestyle content that will encourage you to be your very best self. So if you're with that, you're in the right place. Today is a very special video, y'all, because this month we are starting Is That Your Hair Holiday. Now during Is That Your Hair Holiday, I will be collaborating with some of my favorite creators and will be showcasing hair, beauty, fashion, and everything in between. So I'm super excited to start off Is That Your Hair Holiday with my girl, Liz Tool. Liz, man, listen, when I found Liz, I was searching through try on hauls during the summertime, and as soon as I saw her video, I believe it was the shorts video, was one of the first ones I saw, I became hooked. I just love everything about Liz. <laughs> I love her fashion finds. I appreciate the fact that we're both mid-sized women and we have very similar measurements. So it makes it easy for me to pick and choose things that I like that she showcases. And she's also just like super chill and very cool. She's like your neighborhood bestie. I just really love her overall positive attitude. And I'm telling you, when you go over there, you're bound to spend some money because every time I watch one of her hauls, she's like, girl, what are you ordering for Amazon now? <laughs> And I'm just like, okay, I just can't help it. She just makes me want to buy everything. So please go show my girl Liz a ton of love. We have collabed before on another Amazon fashion video. It was a fall haul, and we both brought the heat with that one. So make sure you check my description box for that link. But yeah, y'all, so holiday season. I'm so excited about this. So Liz, thank you so, so much for agreeing to collab again. You know you my girl, I love you. And I'm so, so happy that we met this year. Also, if you're coming from Liz's channel, welcome, how are you doing? Feel free to like the video and consider subscribing once you're done because I think you're gonna see a lot of things here that you like. Now let's get into these clothes. All right, y'all, we are bringing holiday fashion in this video. I have a ton of dresses and I have some outfits. I have boots, I have some outerwear. I got a little bit of everything. So I think you're gonna enjoy this. Now remember, all the links will be in my description box. Everything is super detailed very organized if for some reason I miss something feel free to comment don't be shy I'll respond however you should be able to find everything even down to my makeup if you like my lashes my lipstick all that will be linked in the description box I do a lot of wig reviews on this channel so if you're curious about that wig I'm wearing today by Sensational but LA6 that'll be linked as well. As far as my measurements, I am 5'3 in height, I'm a 38'40 in the bust area, a 34 waist, and a 43'44 hip. I normally wear like a size eight and a half, nine shoe, boot, depending. So let's get into it. So we're gonna start with dresses, okay? Some things that you can hopefully wear to your next function. And we're gonna start with this dress right here that I got from Amazon. As soon as I put this joint on, it was a wrap. My girl Nia Danielle actually put me onto this dress and I absolutely love it. This vibrant red looks so good and I just love the way it crisscrosses in the front here. Like look at the way the girls are sitting, honey, what? By the way, I am wearing a bra from Amazon and I'll link it down below. I love this push-up bra. I wear it so frequently. But yes, this dress is super comfortable. It's stretchy and it's definitely going to fit your curves like a dream, so I highly recommend it. I got this in a size medium and I'm so glad I did. I definitely think you can stick to your size. Okay, the next dress I have here is a cute burnt orange number. I posted this on Instagram and y'all really loved it. First of all, I'm all about the off the shoulder, so that is just... Oh, giving me so much life. Again, this is another dress that will hug your curves. However, it's not as forgiving as the red dress, so if you do have like a little stomach, it's gonna show through a little bit. I do have some shapewear, courtesy of Liz, she put me on, that I tried on, and that shapewear definitely will have you snatched. <laughs> but overall, I love this rib knit dress. I love the color, the fit, the length, all of that size medium go ahead and just add this to the cart and another thing you'll notice about amazon is that a lot of the items that i show will be available in various colors so even if you're not feeling the color that i'm wearing in particular click that link sis and check out the other colors because i'm sure you will find a shade that works for you also quick little plug for amazon prime wardrobe i've tried it a few times now and it's legit literally with amazon prime wardrobe you can try before you buy so you have seven days to try it there'll be a link in my description box if you're interested in trying it out but i think it's a great way to try something out before fully committing so if you know you have a hard time when it comes to sizing and buying things online definitely look into amazon prime wardrobe i'm telling you it's a game changer all right this next dress oh I'm in love. Again, another dress that Liz made me buy. <laughs> Look 
because she showcased it like several times. I think this is a perfect dress to wear for the holiday season because it's very cute yet super comfy. I have this in a size large and I could have worn my normal size medium but I think the large still fits me very well. It is a little bit loose towards the bottom so if you are my size be aware of that but I just love this detail in the back. Do you see that? That little V keyhole detail. Ugh! This dress is divine y'all and I believe it retails for about 40 something dollars. This is like one of my top favorite dresses from this haul. Hands down. Go get it. It's available in various colors and there's so many positive reviews on this dress on Amazon too and I can see why. It's an awesome dress. And also I just love the quality of this dress like the material. It's a sweater dress but it's not like super heavy it's still a thin material but it's still gonna keep you warm i just love everything about it oh my gosh i actually reviewed this dress in a shorter color during the last fall haul that i did and i love that one too I and mean, i was wearing a size medium for that dress i got it in that tan color gorgeous so whether you get the short version or the long version doesn't matter both are a hit i'm telling you you may as well just add to the cart now i'm trying to tell you that's another thing when we do these hauls sometimes things start to sell out so if you see something that you like add it now i'm warning you now because sometimes i get dms saying like oh what happened to this item that you showcase People be on it, especially during this time of year. Okay, this next dress surprised me a bit. I don't remember it having many reviews, if any reviews, so I just took a chance on it. But this little black number is popping. If you're going to an all black affair, or maybe you need a dress for New Year's, I think this is the dress for you. I just love the shimmery kind of material. It feels like a high quality dress. It legit feels like something I would have paid at least $30 more for, you know what I'm saying? And of course this deep V-neck is just so, it's just so sexy to me. Now when it comes to your girls, you're gonna have to find a way to support them. Maybe you wanna use like booby tape to hold them up, depending on how large your chest is. There's actually a bra that I wanna try, Mrs. Kisses bra. I've seen it around Instagram a lot. That actually is a frontless and backless bra. Oh my God. I want to try that bra so bad. I just need to make the time for it. But if you know what I'm talking about, comment down below. And another thing I noticed about this dress is that it comes with shoulder pads, which I'm not mad at. They give me like this 80s retro kind of vintage look, which I'm actually here for. I think it looks very classy, super chic. But of course, if you don't want the shoulder pad pads, you're going to have to just like cut them out like right over here at these points, which is not an issue. Super stretchy, definitely a little bit slinky. I'm here for it. This is bomb. This next dress is another dress I took a chance on and it turned out to be a favorite from this haul. As you can tell, I really love this type of camel color during the fall and winter season. I think it just looks so good on my skin. And I love off the shoulder. Right now, I'm actually wearing my push-up bra, but I just moved the straps down because my normal strapless bra would have been showing through. And I like this look because the push-up bra still keeps my girls up within this dress. So I have no complaints, y'all. This is a 10 out of 10 type of dress on me. Now, it does say one size on Amazon, so... That can vary. I did notice that there's quite a bit of extra fabric in the middle, so I'm assuming that's, you know, room for those who are larger than me. However, if you're smaller than me, I don't think I can recommend this dress only because I feel like that loose fabric is going to become larger and it might look a little strange. So, so if you're my size and maybe two sizes above, definitely recommend this dress. Here's just a close up of the material. It's like a nice rib knit material. I just love it. And this crisscross, oh. It's giving me life, y'all. If you've been asleep on Amazon fashion, I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I need you to wake up, okay? Liz and I are trying to get y'all right for the holidays. There's so many great finds on there, especially from Amazon's original collections. I've learned so much this year about the fashion world just through Amazon alone. So I'm trying to impart that knowledge onto y'all, okay? Because we can all slay together. Also, sometimes I receive comments saying like, oh, you know, there's certain things that I don't feel like will look right on my body. And sis, I'm trying to tell you, like, now is the time to eradicate all those thoughts. One thing that's super important to me on my channel is to help women feel super confident in how they present themselves. So if that's through your hair, through your fashion, through what you're saying out your mouth, I want you to feel empowered. So if you see a dress that you like that you don't normally wear, but you're worried that someone's going to talk about you, you're worried that your family's going to think it's too short, too tight, too this, too that, get rid of all of that. Take it from me, your girl Gladys. Think about me in your head when you want to wear something you've never worn before. You have a little voice in your head saying, you know what, that's going to look good. Just do it. This is your sign. I'm giving you permission. Hopefully this haul will show you that we all come in different shapes.
shapes and sizes but I want us to start feeling more comfortable with that and that's something that I've learned in the past few years if it feels good on me I'm rocking it period and I want you to feel the same way too so this next dress is another dress I took a chance on I really like the keyhole detail I saw on the Amazon website however so I got the size medium and I think it fits somewhat but I'm just not liking the way it's kind of gaping in the back area by the neck I don't know something about it just looks a little bit off to me maybe it's also part of the khaki color I don't know but I'm just not feeling this dress on me for real but I still wanted to show it because I do think it's a nice dress and I think it will look good on someone I just don't really like it for me and part of me also wonders if it's running a little big maybe that's why it fits that way I'm not too sure it's another rib knit material dress and I mean it feels good it feels sturdy it's definitely quality rib knit material just not my favorite but I think someone out there would like it so I want to show it all right the last dress I'm showing today is this red sweater dress the one thing that stands out to me about this dress is the bottom where it flares out and those those little frills at the end I think it's it's very cute definitely a dress for my more modest woman someone who's more on the conservative side but still trying to keep it cute you know what I mean so I think this is a great dress for you I actually purchased this like two years ago I was able to wear it twice right twice and of course it's holding up well on camera it's looking a lot more red than it actually is because in person it's a little bit of a deeper red, as you can probably tell in comparison to this dress that I'm wearing right now. This is a size medium. And yeah, I have no complaints about this. I think this is very flattering. So if you're looking for a sweater dress that's a lighter sweater material and you like the color red, I would get it. All right, y'all, now we're about to get into outfits and I'm super excited to show y'all what I put together. But before we get into that, I wanna show you all a few boots that I purchased that I've been wearing recently. So the first boot is this ankle mid calf boot right here I have been wearing this out like every time I decide to go out I'm pulling out these boots the first time I wore them they were a little bit snug right but after the second time wearing them they definitely loosened up in this area if you have a wider foot it may not be comfortable however who knows it might loosen up if you decide to get them this is a size 9 when I first wore them, I definitely wore like a very thin sock because of that tightness, but now I'm able to wear my thicker socks without a problem. On the inside, it says it's leather in the upper material and then the sole is man-made. And y'all, I feel like with the proper care, these boots are going to last me a few years. Like, they are so sturdy. This heel isn't going anywhere. And it's just, it's just a, such a cute look. So you'll see how I style them a little bit later on in the video. The next boot I purchased is this over the knee boot that I'm obsessed with right now. I haven't even worn it outside yet, right? But it's just so cute. It has this nice pointy toe here, which I just love the pointy toe look, by the way. And it looks really good on the legs. I have small calves. So one thing that's an issue for me is just finding boots that will kind of stay up. And I noticed wearing these without anything on my legs, these were staying up for the most part. There was a little bit of a slouch, but not too much. And I'm pretty sure these retailed for like around the $50 range, $49, something like that. These are supposed to be a size nine, but they say the number 41 on the bottom. Whereas the leather boots I just pulled out, those said the number 40. I don't know, maybe that's why those boots felt more snug out the box. Either way, I'm loving these and I cannot wait to wear them throughout the winter season. The next boot I wanna show y'all is by Dream Paris. I have it in a size nine. And this boot is also an over the knee boot, but you see it's wider at the top. So I definitely think this is going to accommodate people with wider calves or just a wider leg in general. This is a great boot to wear with jeans and I'm loving this chunky heel. It's like the perfect heel. This is by Dream Paris, and they have a lot of reviews on their items on Amazon. Definitely check it out. And the last boot I got is by Jessica Simpson, another over-the-knee boot. The main difference with this boot is the heel. This is the highest heel, and I can tell. It's like at least a three-inch heel, because when I walked in them, I was like, whoa, what? I'm still getting used to walking in heels, but I really like the boot, so I was like, you know what? Instead of returning them, let me just use this as my practice boot around the house so I can get used to heels again. It's also made of this suede material, just like the other boots, and this joint is staying up. Like, when I wore this the other night, it did not fall down on my leg, and that's super important to me. It's also pretty stretchy up here too so Jessica Simpson I think she makes some pretty quality shoes I've owned a pair or two 
definitely look into it. All right, y'all, it's time to get into the outfits. I'm so excited for this part. So the first outfit I want to show you, I just felt so fabulous in this turtleneck size medium. I got the skirt and a large. The waist of the skirt isn't too stretchy, so I'm glad that I got the large, but the leopard print is gorgeous. Oh, I love it. Plus, paired with the ankle boots that I showed y'all, where am I going? Who's taking me out? <laughs> This is something that I would wear if I'm meeting up with a few girlfriends for some drinks. And then, hold on, look at how I put on the shacket. This shacket has been a long time coming. Liz put me onto this, so Liz, thank you so much because this is my new favorite fall winter item. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. I have this in a size medium. Y'all need to get this shacket. If you see it available, get it before it sells out. I'm warning you, I'm warning you now. It's available in a few other colors, but the orange color just really spoke to me. So Liz, thank you so much for putting me onto that shacket because it's popping. <laughs> Y'all see me! Alright, the next outfit I'm wearing here is this gorgeous yellow knit sweater and these blue jeans that I got because of Liz as well. <laughs> and these over-the-knee boots. This sweater feels so plush. I, I adore it. I believe it retails like around the $39, $40 range. Highly recommend. Like, y'all need to get this sweater. It's beautiful and it's available in a range of colors. And I love the fact that I'm able to wear it with these jeans. I think the color, I think it speaks for itself. I know yellow isn't typically a color people wear during the winter, but I wear bright colors all year round. I told you, I wear what I feel like wearing, okay? And I want y'all to feel the same. I don't necessarily follow all the fashion rules like, oh, don't wear white after Labor Day or, oh, wear neon colors in the summer. No, if I feel like wearing neon on January 22nd, I'm gonna wear neon on January 22nd. <laughs> I hope y'all feel me. That's just how I am. I don't know why I waited this long to get a bright colored sweater, but the time is now. Okay, so here we have another sweater. This is by the Good Threads brand, which is an Amazon brand. And it is so lovely. Another beautiful knitted sweater. I love the color on me. I love the high turtleneck. And it's definitely going to keep me warm. So I definitely recommend this. 10 out of 10. I actually looked up videos the other day on how to tuck in sweaters. <laughs> So, you know, this video, it might be a little wonky, but I'm going to get the hang of it for sure. Now, next, I want to show you guys this top. We're getting into some, you know, little sexy going out pieces, right? This top is by Savage Fenty. This is my first Savage Fenty purchase. The color, this forest green, and I don't normally gravitate towards the type of green, but it just looks absolutely beautiful. It's so unique looking, especially in person. I love the fit of it. You can tell me how it looks with these pants. Pants are not from Amazon, but I can link a similar one down below. I just love the top. And here's an up close and personal look at it. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. This is a size 40D. Honestly, I probably should have went with the 38D because it felt a little bit just a little bit loose. I had on the tightest setting, but I'm still happy with it. Like, honey, where, who's, where am I going in this? Like, seriously? Oh my God, and the little mesh detail here. Rihanna, Rihanna knows what's up. <laughs> I love this. If you wanna try something a little different, a little sexy, if you like bralettes, Definitely try this one by Rihanna. Now this top right here was super popular everywhere. I think people were calling it TikTok top because it was all over TikTok. I featured this in black before, but this is like the, I guess, fall winter version because it has these added sleeves. And I think it's really cool. Like the sleeves are separate, so you can just add them on your arms. My arms are a little bit small, so I noticed towards this area, it was slipping just a little bit, but nothing noticeable. This is a top I'm definitely gonna wear out either on a date night with C or with my girls. Like, I'm here for this. I think everyone should try this top because it just looks good on everyone I've seen, no matter what your bust size. If you are like really busty and you feel like you can't fit this top, you'd be surprised sis. I've seen so many cup sizes try this top that were much larger than me and it looked amazing. So I recommend it, especially this version with the sleeves. I was surprised to find this on Amazon. Like, have y'all seen this? Because I did not see this until recently. Now y'all, I really need to get into to some of this outerwear oh my god this here hands down my favorite outerwear item this season this jacket oh my goodness I got this on Amazon for about $73 it looks like real leather y'all but it's not <laughs> it looks 
so good on. I love the way that it falls on me. It just looks so chic and every time I wear it, someone compliments me on it. Even my aunt was like, oh, where'd you get that jacket? Off of where? Amazon? Yes, Amazon. Go get this jacket. This is a must have in your collection. I love leather during the fall winter months, but I'm gonna need you to love it too. <laughs> This looks so good on. I have this in a size large and it fits me great and it also accommodates when I decide to wear sweaters and such. So this is definitely a must buy. Okay, next outfit we have here is a green bodysuit, which fits me very comfortably. I have it in a size medium and I have this skirt in a size large. The waistband is super stretchy. I could have definitely gotten a medium. The leopard print is divine. I wore this during the summer, but I'm bringing it back for the winter. And I added on this long black coat the coat I got in a size medium, and I definitely should have just got a large. I don't know what I was thinking. It's fine open here, but if I'm going to wear sweaters and such, I'm going to need a large. But the coat is very good quality, and for the price, I believe the coat was only like $50. I think it's well worth it. And with this, I'm wearing my little ankle boots. I just think it's such a look, y'all. If this video is helping you, please make sure you comment down below. Leave me some love. Share your feedback. I want to know what your favorite items are. I'm having such a good time sharing this with you all. And yeah, we're going to be so holiday ready by the time this video is over. All right, next I have this sweater dress here. Okay, so it's not really a sweater dress. It's a sweater, but it's oversized. I'm wearing a size medium, and I just felt like, you know what? I'm going to wear it as a dress, and I have it paired with my black knee-high boots and I think it looks very cute simple that's one thing I like about dresses you throw them on the outfits done you put on your boots you head out the door throw on a coat you're good to go <laughs> so it doesn't take much effort with an outfit like this and that I can appreciate now did you see these gloves these gloves are everything they are so freaking chic I got the size 7 but my hands are small and I noticed when I put them on I have a little bit of gapping here so I'm actually gonna return these and get a size 6 and I think it'll be the perfect fit another thing is you can use these with your cell phone right here you see how I'm able to touch my phone with these on? Perfect! I love these gloves. And the fact that it has this fur, I just think it's a very, you know, classy kind of look. Get these gloves, y'all. They retail for, I think like $49.99 on Amazon. I think it's such a great buy. And they're 100% leather. Yay! All right, the last thing I want to show you all are some leggings. And these are definitely quality. I got them in a size large. They are snatching me up. These are not the type of leggings that you used to get back at Forever 21. No ma'am. These spandex leggings are holding me in. They feel great. I can stretch in them. And I recently started a dance class to encourage myself to work out more. So I'm definitely gonna be wearing these when I go to my classes. And when I get back to the gym, I'm just so excited. I like the color as well. They come in a variety of colors. So if you need a pair of leggings, Amazon has a slew of great ones, but just know that this is one of them for sure. Oh, one more thing before I go. I want to show you guys this leather top. It's not real leather, y'all. It's pleather. I just love this brown. I know brown is so trending right now, and I've worn this all throughout the summer, but I'm still wearing it as a layering piece during the winter time, so I recommend it. It's a Shein top, but it is available on Amazon, and I got it in a size large. As you can see here, this is how I wore it. I just love this and I love that it's stretchy too because I was a little worried that the large wouldn't accommodate my girls but it worked out perfectly all right y'all that's it this is my winter holiday haul fashion haul I hope you enjoyed it please comment down below and let me know which ones are your favorites which one did you already add to the cart who's on the website who's on Amazon right now as we speak don't be shy let me know in the comments I'm so excited to see Liz's video oh my god I know she got the goods like I just know it she's about to make me spend some money per usual <laughs> And also, big shout out to you, Liz, for collaborating with me for Is That Your Hair Holiday. It really, really means a lot. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. I have a lot of great content coming up, and I don't want you to miss it. Also, y'all, I go live on Amazon every week right now, so you can catch me live. Follow my Amazon storefront. It'll be linked down below. I super, super appreciate that. It really helps me out. We are on the road to 30,000 subscribers. What? I am so right now i cannot wait to hit that milestone and celebrate with you all the goal is before the end of the year i think we're on track right so yeah let's just keep it going and if you want to see some of my latest videos check them out over here to the right of me thank you all so much for watching and for joining and for coming through i'll see you in the next one bye